let's make some cake party. These are Marie biscuits or cookies if you want to call it. If you can find this, you can use graham crackers. I'm going to break it up into quarters, not too big and not too small. I'm using 400 grams. We are not going to use all of it. You are going to judge during the cooking process. And now it's done. Milk 150 grams of butter, 114 grams of condensed milk, and mixy mix. 90 grams of Milo, of course it has to be from Australia, and mixy mix. 38 grams of cocoa powder, and mixy mix. 89 grams of hot water, and mixy mix. Remove from heat and add in one egg. Half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of vanilla paste, and mixy mix. Add in the Marie biscuits and mixy mix. Continue adding and mixing until there's not much sauce to coat the biscuits with. So you have to judge. And it should look something like this. I still have some leftover Marie biscuits. Into an 8 inch cake pan, spread it out to the corners. I'm going to use a cake smoother to press and compact the biscuits. Don't press too hard though. Chill in the fridge to set for at least an hour. And this is what I did with the leftover Marie biscuits. Dunk them in some Milo. I'm gonna show you how to prepare the perfect cup of Milo. Please stay tuned. And cheers. Steam 200 grams of whipping cream until bubbles start to form. Into 200 grams of dark chocolate and 10 grams of butter. And we're using curry bout. Set aside for a couple of minutes and mixy mix. Some vanilla paste and a pinch of salt and mixy mix. Onto the biscuits, swirl the even it out and chill in the fridge overnight. The next day, unmold, dust with some cocoa powder and some Milo. As you can see, the chocolate ganache start to melt. Anyway, let's slice and review. Get the full article at fedo.sg. The weather is insanely hot and humid today, so I decided to pop back in the fridge to chill for a few hours. And now it looks so much better. Let's devour this. This tastes so good. You seriously have to give this a try. Thank you for watching. Have fun in the kitchen.